To some, there is no greater human right in a civilized society than freedom of expression. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu got that right in the U.S. Congress this week when, over objections from President Obama, he used his freedom to try and prevent a peace plan between Washington and Tehran. But over here, freedom of expression has arguably taken a McCarthyite turn, it would seem. World-famous jazz saxophonist Gilad Atzmon has played with everyone from Ian Jury to David Bowie and Pink Floyd. But now the Royal Northern College of Music seems to have banned him from a scheduled concert claiming safety concerns. He joins me now. Welcome, Gilad, to Going Underground. So, as I said, arguably one of the biggest accusations uh, in the civilized uh, society is uh, the banning of cultural expression because of blacklisting. Yeah. What happened? Uh, I, I, thought, I, I don't think that it's even a matter of expression. I was scheduled to do yeah. a musical concert to launch my uh, new album in uh, in uh, Manchester and uh, on Monday my manager called me and told me that uh, the gig uh, was pulled out. I called the venue to try to figure out what was happening and I realized that uh, there were serious safety issues. Um, the venue was uh, blitzed with a lot of extremist Zionist threatening messages and I'm quite shocked. This country is uh, very sensitive to terror, you know, we send our soldiers all over the world to fight uh, terror uh, while uh, here in Manchester we are subject to terror. And There's I a record... song on the new album which you were going to play though at the Royal Northern College called Gaza Mon Amour. Yeah, I play a tune called Gaza Mon Amour. It's quite amazing that this album, I ask myself, why are they so worried about this album? Probably the fact that my first tune is called Gaza Mon Amour is a big concern for them. But I genuinely love the people in Gaza. I admire them. I admire their resilience, the way they fight and towards liberation. What's happened to you at the Royal Northern College? How will that, do you think, affect British artists when they think about criticizing Israel? O o what, what, what I can see is that uh, they try to silence me or to threaten me or to threaten uh, or to terrorize a uh, uh, Manchester, a uh, very famous venue, in order to make sure that artists in this country are silenced and don't express any views that may interfere with their hegemony. I think that it is very important as much as we are entitled to talk about the power of capitalism and power of ideologies, we are entitled to examine what is it in, uh, in Israel or Jewish identity that makes APAC in America such a strong lo lobby or why, how is it possible that 80%, 80% of conservatives uh, members of the parliament are CFI members, they are conservative friends of Israel. How is it possible that 80% of our uh, conservative representatives are friends of Tel Aviv? How many of them are friends of Manchester, Liverpool or Hartlepool? I understand you've been in contact with the Royal Nor Northern College of Music and you have some sympathy for them. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I feel that they are, to a certain extent, a victim in this saga. They were terrorized, bullied by a group of extremist Jews. When I spoke today uh, with chief marketing person, considered, uh, discussed uh, the possibility of rescheduling, he told me, listen, you have to understand that the main concern remains. I told him, what is the main concern? He said, safety. I told him, listen, I'm not afraid of safe, in safety issues. I'm playing every night for the last 30 years. He told me, you don't understand. We have 800 students. I told him, listen, if a group of hardcore Zionists are terrorizing you and your 800 students, this is not an issue with cancellation of Gila Datsman gig. This is a national security issue. Well, barring any censorship uh, here in London uh, on Wednesday, you're going to be doing the official launch of, uh, uh, with the Orient House Ensemble, The Whistleblower. Yeah, on Wednesday to Saturday, we are playing uh, the whistleblower here in London in Pizza Express. And I will be delighted to see everyone, including my detractors. Kill that, I believe. Kill that, that's one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.
That's it for today. For those of you in Manchester disappointed by the banning of Gilad Atzmon and the Orient House Ensemble, we'll play you out with their track Gaza Mon Amour, a song from his new album, The Whistleblower. Join us again on Monday. We're on Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud and email. And don't forget our UK news with Bill Dodd. It's on every weekday evening between 6 and 10. See you on Monday.